Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this cool abstract shape in Blender. You can get the project file for a dollar via the link in the description. So let's get started. There is one thing that you should know and it is that you need Blender 3.3.0 alpha. Let's add a plane, go to geometry nodes and close this window and click on new. Delete the group input, add a volume cube, this one, connect the volume to the geometry and now add a volume to mesh. Now add a set shade smooth and let's also add a set material. We are going to add the material later. For the resolution here, I recommend that you set it to at least 100. I'm going to set it to 200. Now add a Musgrave texture. Set the scale to 15.5 and the detail all the way up to 15. And now plug the height into the density. And now we have something like this. Add a gradient texture. Now add a noise texture, plug the color into the vector, let's move this over here. Now add a Voronoi texture, set it to distance to edge and connect the distance to the vector. Set the scale to 10. Now let's use this gradient texture and set it to spherical. Plug the color into the vector. Let's set this one to spherical as well and add a Voronoi texture. Plug the color into the vector and now we need a mix RGB. Plug it in here. Set the Voronoi texture to distance to edge and set the scale to 1. Now plug the distance into color 2. Add another Voronoi texture. Set it to distance to edge again. Plug the distance in here. And also plug it in here. Now let's set this gradient texture to easing. And plug it in here. Also we need to set the scale here to 0.5. Now let's save just to be sure. I'm going to call it tutorial. Now in the materials, let's create a new material. Now set this material here. Go to shading and go to rendered view. I'm using an HDRI. I'm going to put a link to the one that I use in the description. Let's go to the render properties and under color management set it set the look to high contrast i mean very high contrast and if you want you can go to film and make it transparent delete the principal bsdf and add a mix shader plug that into the surface and let's also add a transparent bsdf Plug it into the shader on the bottom and let's make it a light blue. Let's also add a glass shader. Plug it into the top and now we've got something like this. I'm also going to add a point light. Let's increase the radius here. Like this for example and set the power to 100,000. Add a mix RGB and just drag and drop this color here and down here let's make this a dark blue. Connect the color to the color for the glass shader and let's add a color ramp. Plug that into the factor and drag the black in like this. Now we need a wave texture. Set the scale to 100 and plug the color into the factor. 
Also set the distortion to 7 and the detail to 15. Now with the node ring lantern installed, let's select the wave texture and press Ctrl T. Set the scale on the X, Y and Z to 0.1. Go back to layout mode and go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad and let's hit delete on the numpad to focus on the object. And now by pressing 6 on the numpad, you can rotate like this and now press 8 to rotate like this and shift a camera control alt 0 to go into camera view and let's move it up on the z axis like this i'm going to move it down a little bit more now let's go into object mode add an empty and go into top view move it to somewhere around here and go to front view tree set and move it up Go into camera view, select the camera, enable depth of field and select the empty. If you want to adjust the f-stop I recommend that you do it here in the preview mode and also set the blades to 16. For the render properties I'm going to set the max samples to 1280 and enable the noise. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use optics. If you don't, you can only use open image denoise. And let's also go to compositing, enable use nodes, then go here and enable denoising data, add a denoise node and simply connect all of these and make sure it's set to accurate. Now let's save again and press F12. So that's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.